Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with your Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this cute little holiday Christmas card, and here's what you need to gather together to make it. You're going to need your Big Shot, of course, and you're going to need two textured impressions embossing folders. I use the Petals of Plenty, and I use the Elegant Bouquet. You also need your Real Red Stampin' Classic pad and your marker, Real Red marker. You're going to need two punches. You're going to need your scallop oval punch, and you're going to need your ornament punch. I've got our absolutely fabulous scissors, and I put a ribbon on it to show that it's only to be cut, um, only to be used to cut ribbon. <laughs> And I have the Whisper White 1 quarter inch grow grain ribbon. I have my paper snips. I have my snail adhesive. And I have my Stampin' Dimensional. And then for cardstock, you're going to need Real Red and Whisper White. And that's it. So not very much cardstock to make this project. And I also used some mini glue dots. All right, let me show you how to make this card. I'm going to bring in my Big Shot. You're going to need your platform, and you're going to need your two standard cutting plates. I've got it open on tab one. And then what you're going to do is take your Whisper White cardstock, put it inside the folder, and our folders used to have an arrow on it that would show which way to push it through. But actually, it, they discovered that you really don't need uh, the arrow on the folder, so all embossing folders that are now coming out that are new and in future will not have the arrow on it. So you put it in the sandwich, and then you run it through. So that's the Whisper White that I ran through. And hopefully you can see it on the video. It's got a beautiful impression on it. And then I'm going to set aside that for just a minute, and I'm going to bring in my real red cardstock and the Petals of Plenty. This is a brand new embossing folder that I just got this week. And so this is the first project I've made with it, and I'm so excited to share it with you too. So slide it in. You've got your standard cutting plate on the bottom. Then your embossing folder with your cardstock inside, and then the top standard cutting plate, and then run it through. And that's all you need your big shot for. And then you open up your embossing folder. There's a white cardstock in there. There. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I hope that you can see it on the video. It's got a wonderful impression on it. It's almost, I don't know, it almost changes the entire texture of the cardstock as well. All right, so let me bring this back in to show you that my Christmas card is going to go this way, and I'll probably put another piece of white cardstock inside to write my greeting on. Um, but what I did was I adhered the Whisper White layer on top, and then I took my real red marker and I colored in the center of the flowers to bring in the red color. Then I took the real red um, sheet that I ran through and I took my ornament punch and I punched out the ornament shape just like this. So you end up with an ornament. And then I, be, I adhered it to the card using Stampin' Dimensionals, and I tied the uh, Whisper White Grow Grain ribbon into a little knot and then cut it and attached it to the ornament using a um, mini glue dot. And then the last thing I did was on a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, I took, and I don't think I mentioned this, but I used the Christmas Punch Hostess stamp set. Love this Hostess stamp set. It's got all sorts of Christmas um, images in it. So I took the one that says, A Gift for You, Merry Christmas, because it had the little poinsettia flower or poinsettia flower in there, and I thought that sort of blended well with the other features on the card. 
I stamped it using real red and then I punched it out using the scallop edge punch. I'm sorry, the scallop oval punch, pardon me. And then I just adhered it flat to the card. I didn't want to raise it up off the card because I wanted this to be the central feature. And that's it. To order any of these pro um, products used to make this card, or for a close-up photo of the finished card and a list of ingredients or measurements, please visit my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. Also, feel free to email me any questions you have, or if you'd like to place any order for additional product, I'm your Stampin' Up! Girl. I'm Terry, and I'm Nuts About Stamping, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.